Jesus says, I'm calling my people to awareness, action, and accountability. March 18, 2018 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Jesus began, It's terribly important to me that I am in communication with my flock. So many in this moment are swayed by the events of the world as it is presented to them in the mainstream media, which is crooked and perverted beyond remedy. My people perish for lack of knowledge, because they are too lazy to search until they uncover the truth. You were this way, Claire, but the time had not yet come for your understanding to increase. However, you understood from afar the true nature of things. Yes, I just couldn't bring myself to vote for anybody, because I felt they were all corrupt and liars. But now I'm calling my people to awareness, action and accountability. As you discover the truth, you do have an obligation to support it and vote. I know that no man is perfect. I know there is underhandedness and corruption everywhere you turn. But without supporting the best, though they be imperfect, you become the victims of the worst. Some of you are called to social action and will find yourselves in positions of responsibility. You will then understand more fully the high winds the lofty must navigate and survive in the political realms. Everyone can sit in their armchairs and find fault but let them get into a position with pressure on all sides and see if they can survive while doing the right thing. That is one reason I abhor criticism and backbiting. Those who make their tongues a sword for cutting others down are not part of the solution. Those who want to make this world a more moral place will roll up their sleeves and get to work. And so I counsel you, my people, take responsibility for your government, whether in prayer, supporting candidates, or educating the public. Do not allow things to just flow right by you without taking a moral stance. And remember that no one is perfect but seek to support the ones who uphold what is important to me. This may be in a greater or lesser degree, depending on your choices, but do what is right according to Scripture. The mess your nation is in now is the result of decades of shallow thinking, sinfully busy lifestyles, that don't have the time for me or for their nation. This is what Satan depends on, a lukewarm middle class that is overwhelmed by endless worldly preoccupations. It isn't easy to see how vital your government is until you become the victim of corruption and it's too late to do anything about it. This is what happens to nations that are not proactive in supporting what is right. From the ground up, this is how dictators take over peoples, oppress and murder them. There is a tremendous cost to freedom, and if your heart stirs when you consider your nation, you are hearing from me a calling to do something. Get active and start somewhere. It doesn't matter where you begin, I will move you from position to position as you grow. I am putting this call out to you right now, 
because some of you are facing elections that will deeply affect how President Trump is able to make the moral changes necessary to stop the slaughter of the innocents and other disgracefully immoral laws. Lord, you are so full of surprises. I never expected this message. Well, I am grateful to you, Claire, for taking these last moments of your day to see to it. This message gets out. It is short, but very important. And we are making progress with the things that are on my heart. So please do not get under condemnation for pulling things together. All that you have been doing has been in my will for you. Thank you, Lord. Don't you feel the peace? I do. It's very sweet. That is a sure indication that what you are doing with your day is very pleasing to me. I want you to walk in freedom from guilt. The enemy will twist whatever he can to cause you to feel guilty. And it's debilitating to you. So I'm taking this opportunity to tell you, enjoy the peace. You are operating in my will. You are so kind to me, Jesus. I want to reward your faithfulness and put your heart at peace.